guys welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com in this tutorial i'm going to talk about the advanced jira workflow configuration or what are the key components of advanced jira workflow so before we get started the first thing that you have to remember is that you need an administrative privileges of your jira instance to edit the workflow or to work on any of these advanced um, configurations so I've, I've already logged in as um, as an administrator in one of my Jira instance and to get started I have already opened the workflow for one of my project and I'll click on edit just to show you um, the key components of the workflow so at the moment this is the simplified workflow and this um, th this is a global transition uh, which says all and then transitioning to the statuses that means that any status can uh, transition to any of the status in this workflow so you can transition an issue from to do to in progress or from in progress to to do or from in progress to done so um, that's the uh, that's why these uh, global transitions um, can uh, uh, issues can transition from any state to any state uh, now if you have um, specific transitions from uh, to do to in progress then in that case only the issues can be transitioned from to do to in in progress unless until you have the backward transition enabled from in progress to do to do so at the moment uh, there are global transitions in this software simplified workflow so to start with the key concepts or key components of the uh, advanced jira workflow just click on the one of the transitions and here you will see that the transition is um, uh, available uh, and the various options are available for example properties triggers conditions validators post functions etc so i'll start talking about the key uh, workflow configuration so the first one is uh, the conditions uh, second is the validator uh, then trigger uh, post function and transition screens so we'll cover these concepts one by one so what exactly is a condition so condition is something which must be met before the particular transition will be available for the user uh, for that particular issue to transition from one status to another status for example um, if we go to this uh, condition so if you just click on the conditions here it will take you to the conditions uh, tab here and at the moment there are no conditions on this transition so if you click on add condition you will be able to see what all conditions are available um, that you can add so for example code committed condition or height transition from user um, or user in this group or permission condition so for example if you if you uh, choose permission condition what this means is that condition to allow only users with a certain permission to execute a transition so if you select that and click on add then it will ask you for the permission um, for example if a user has close issues permission only then allow the user to transition the issue from to do to any other state okay so that's one condition that has been added similarly you can add multiple conditions and you can choose all or any of the following so if you choose all of the following that is uh, mostly uh, that is and uh, or if you choose any of the following that is basically saying that or condition so either of um, one if uh, is met then the person will be able to transition uh, the issue from one status to another status if you choose all of the following conditions that means all of the conditions that you choose here if I choose any one more condition which says users in uh, is in this group and then add and I'll say Jira BA group if you choose that so only if the user has close issues permission as well as user is a part of group BA Jira BA then he can transition issue from one state to another so this is um, about uh, this is what condition is all about in jira uh, advanced jira workflow 
Now the second concept I'm going to talk about is the validator. So what exactly is a validator? So validator checks input is valid during transition. Okay, so it validates whether all the inputs provided in the issue are correct and if everything uh, that was supposed to be there on the screen is present only then allow user to transition from one state to another so if you click on validator tab at the top you can see at the moment there are no validators so to add a validator just click on add validator and you have an option to add a permission validator right so which will um, validate that the user has particular permission so if you click on uh, select the permission so select assign issues if you uh, choose any of the permission then click on add so what that will do is only users with assigned issues permission can execute this transition so what that means is if you add a validator then uh, between the transition uh, from one status to another then what that validator will do is it will check that only the person or um, say, say for example I have assigned uh, I have at the moment chosen assigned issues permission so only users who will be having assigned issues permission can execute that transition from one status to another. Similarly, there are many other validators available. Um, for example, you can have the screen validators wherein it can check for the values on the screen, whether those values are present and valid, um, and then only the person will be able to transition issue from one state to another. Now, the third thing I'm going to talk about is the triggers. So what a trigger is, trigger is an automatic transition okay so it's automatic transition um, by events uh, in in development tools so for example if you see here on the screen so a trigger is an event that initiates an automatic tran uh, transition for a jira issue and this is basically um, uh, done when you have integration with the development tools like uh, bitbucket bamboo uh, or continuous integration tool so you have to connect your Jira instance with Bitbucket, Stash, uh, Crucible, etc. to add the triggers. And what are the examples wherein these triggers could happen? So for example, uh, as soon as a developer creates a pull request or uh, the, the code review is rejected, then in those sort of scenarios, um, the, the Jira issue will be automa automatically uh, moved from one state to another. Uh, and these triggers will initiate that um, these triggers will initiate the movement of that issue from one state to another um, so for example a code review has been rejected in that case the person who is reviewing the code doesn't have to manually um, move it back to the developer to and reassign it to developer in that case uh, the trigger uh, will be set and it will auto as soon as the reject um, uh, code review has been rejected uh, the issue will be automatically moved back to the developer and assigned back to the developer so that's that's uh, about the uh, trigger the next uh, important um, thing is about the post function which is again uh, automatic action after transition okay so for example post function is something so at the moment if you see uh, in the post function you will see um, the following are the post function uh, that are available right so if you add a post function so these are some of the post functions available so assigned to the current user assigned to the lead developer or assigned to reporter so you can choose choose any uh, of the post function and add the post function and as soon as the issue is moved uh, transition from one state to another depending on what post function you have chosen for that particular transition that um, details will be automatically populated in the issue now the last bit in the advanced um, Jira workflow configuration is about 
the transition screen which is nothing but uh, the screen that pops up when an issue transitions from one state one status to another so for example if you're moving an issue from to do to in progress if you have the transition screen set up then it will pop up a screen and uh, you, you can have the validation on that particular screen as well which will validate whether the person who is moving from to do in progress has completed the uh, all the relevant information uh, which uh, which which is a prerequisite before moving that um, issue from to do to in progress so that is uh, about the uh, transition screen so this is pretty much all about the advanced jira workflow um, key components uh, and configuration hope you like the video please do share and subscribe thank you